Uh, hi, uh, in this video we are going to see how we can create a JDBC adapter connection and also we are going to see how we can create a adapter service as well. So in order to connect to any database we need to create a JDBC connection. So in this one we are going to connect some Oracle database. So I will just create a adapter connection. So in order to do that I will open IS admin and uh, go to adapter web methods adapter for JDBC. Configure a new connection web method adapter for JDBC connection. So so in this one, I'm going to create my connection in a separate package. Uh, so in order to do that, I'll go to designer and I'll select uh, my IS and then I'll just say new and then I'm going to create a new package for my JDBC connection, JDBC connection. And then I'll click finish and I'll just give main folder as JDBC connection. So this is mainly we are doing so that uh, to uh, differentiate our actual code and uh, connection package so that you know if, the, if you wanted to move only the connection uh, you can move it separately or you wanted to manually create it you can manually move it as well so so that you know it will be separated from your build and if you wanted to take your build as a separate package and you can move it without jdbc connection as well so in this jdbc connection package uh, we can have connection listeners and notifications so i'll just create connection in a connection folder i'll just copy this namespace and I'm going to create a connection. So in order to do that, I have to uh, configure a new connection and a method adapter. You select this package, JDBC connection we just created. I'll select that and give my path where I'm going to create a connection name. So in this one, I'm going to connect to my database called uh, Oracle database. So I can give any name. I'll just give uh, ORCL database. Uh, it's a, just a connection name. You can give any connection name. And you have few transaction type. I'll just give no transaction, which does automatically it will does a commit. And uh, data source class, I'll just give uh, data source class which is specific to Oracle. If you see the adapter guide, there are uh, wh what is we need to give it for Oracle, and what we have to give it for data direct uh, and my Microsoft SQL Server. What uh, driver class you have to give it for DB2. So there are many uh, classes are there and you have to give appropriate class for to connect to different database now i am going to connect to oracle database only so that's why i have given a, uh, given a class for um, data source class for oracle server name i have installed my database in uh, local host only it's in there in my same machine and username is i am just created some demo user i am going to use that and uh, password is um, i gave it as tiger tiger and uh, so before this video i have prepared another video uh, for uh, how to download oracle and how to create the database and uh, how to create the users that's uh, and how to create the table as well so now uh, i'm using those table only so if you have any other table also you can connect it or you can follow that previous video to see how to create a table and you can use a table for your uh, this particular demo purpose so i'm using this table and data source class name, uh, database name. So database name is ORC is my database name. And port is 1521. And other property you have to specify driver type equal to thin. Okay. So before this uh, connect, creating a connection, what I have done is in order to connect Oracle database, we need some jar file, uh, which is nothing but this. Uh, I'll go to my installation path, uh, software AG, integration server, and uh, lib jars and i have downloaded this ojdbc8 jar from internet okay so this is the jar you have to copy and then after copying you have to restart your integration server then only you will be able to connect to the oracle database so this day jar you can download it from the internet and uh, before you know uh, I'll, before that i'll just save the connection and i'll try to enable the connection so once you give the connection enabled if everything is proper right your jars is proper everything then it will get connected okay so where you have to download that jar so you just search with oracle oracle jdbc jar download and go to this link and once it's open the link you go to the specific database version you have so i have installed 19.3 19.3 uh, version only so i have selected that and based on the java version so whatever the web method i'm using it's using web jdk 8 and which is using jdk 1.8 and i have downloaded this jar okay you just click it and if it will ask some uh, oracle username and password if you don't have it you just sign up and uh, you can even give your personal id to sign up and then you use that uh, id to log in 
and you will be able to download this jar. Once you download a jar, you copy into integration lib jar and restart it. Otherwise, you will be getting some error. Uh, you will not be able to connect to the actual database and you will say uh, it could not be connected or uh, those kind of error it will come. Now I have a jars there and I have restarted it and I am able to connect it. Okay. So now we are going to use this connection to create our adapter service. I will just come to designer again. I will refresh this connection designer. So if you refresh it and you will be able to see your connection which you have created which is ORCL database. right? So that is a connection. So now I am going to create adapter service. I will go to my package. I will go to adapter folder right click. I will go new adapter service. So here I am going to create uh, some adapter service. So I am already uh, having employee table. So I will just say you know get employee records. I will click next and then uh, this page it will list down all the adapter connection which you have. All the adapters you have uh, like you know if you have SAP, IBM everything will get listed here. But as of now I have installed these two adapters only in my IS. So that is why it is showing. So I am going to select JDBC here. And uh, here it will show list of connection. Uh, I have as of now I have only one con connection which is connecting to my Oracle database. I select that connection. Click next and I am going to select SQL. So you have many templates. If you wanted to insert something you can use insert SQL. If you wanted to delete then you can use delete SQL. So now I am going to select some record. I will say use select SQL and I will just click finish. So now you have to in the tables tab you have to select the table. So if you see here current catalog current schema I have a employee table. So this table is nothing but I just created in uh, my SQL. So this is the table employee I have three records. Okay, So this is the table I just created as part of the my previous demo. So I have three records now. So I will select the employee table. So once you select the employee table you just go to select and it is a select query you have to say what are the table fields you want. So you have three fields. If you want all fields you can click this insert rows and it will give one field and then you select again again then all fields will come. Okay, You just save it. Now what is what I am going to do is I am going to run this uh, adapter service to see those three records are coming or not from web methods. right? So web method is going to connect to JDBC connection and JDBC connection is going to talk to the table and it is going to uh, retrieve the results from there. Okay, So I will just uh, uh, refresh this one uh, because I just recently created only and then I will save it and I will run it again. So its result is coming empty. So I will just go and see. Uh, yeah. So if you see here uh, earlier when I create or insert some record uh, I have only inserted but I did not commit it. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to run this commit command as well then only you know it will get uh, committed. Okay. So commit is complete and then now I will just uh, run it. So you will be able to see all three records Arul, Raj and Ravi right. So there are three records in the table which is coming now. So for example from here this is the SQL plus which is talking directly to the database to insert record right. So I will insert one more record okay. So I will just insert one more record called uh, Saker and I uh, will just give employee is 104 and then I will just give uh, he is from uh, IT team again okay. So I will just enter four record inserted right. I will just do commit semicolon so the record is committed now i'm from web methods and just running a select adapter service i'll run the input again now we have to see the four records so if you see here the new record which we added which is coming here as well okay so now uh, what is happening is we are using adapter service to get the record similarly you can insert a record also so again i'll show it here how to insert a record you click new adapter service and I'll say insert employee. Okay, so you just insert employee and click next and select the which adapter. It's a JDBC adapter. Select the connection and click next. And you have to choose insert SQL here. Click finish. So now insert employee came and here you have to the table is already selected. If not, you have to click this three dots and then you have to select the table. Okay, so as this schema has only one table, it's automatically getting selected. If you have more tables, you have to select manually. And what field we are going to insert? So I'll just click this. So I want all three fields. I'll save it. Now I'm going to run this service to insert some record. Okay, I'll just run this uh, table. So now what we are going to do is we are inserting a record from web methods. Okay, so I'll just give some uh, record value. Okay, I'll just give some name as uh, Raja. 
okay so uh, id is 105 uh, and department i'll say testing okay so this is the fifth record we are, i'm inserting so if you say this record is inserted successfully so now i'll go and run from this get select employee which we have which is talking to database i'll run this service and it uh, it's supposed to return five records if you see here raja got added right so zeroth record is arul raj and then four five records are there earlier when i select uh, we have a fourth record now i added uh, raj uh, raja as a fifth record now if i run select right you will be able to see five records okay so similarly you know you can insert n number of records for example if you wanted to insert one more record also you can do it so just so here i am just giving uh, name like um, kannan okay so this is the another record 106 and i'll say you know data science is from data science team okay so this is 1006 so i just inserted it and i wanted to check it from the sql plus okay so this is outside web methods right and i'm just running this one so you are able to see content record is coming and even you know if you wanted to see this record from the select adapter service you can run this service which we have created for the select adapter service you can run service you will be able to see all the six record the reason one which we added content that is also coming here so this is the way you have to create a connection the connection will help you to talk to the database and once we have successfully enabled the connectivity so we can uh, write adapter service to talk to the table and fetch the record so when you talk to the table you can do a select update insert delete all database operation you can do that as well uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye Thank you.